Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the October 9th regular city council meeting, city city of Sierra Vista. I call the meeting to order. Tonight, uh, we'll start with a roll call. Mayor Bob Strain. Mayor Pro Tem Rick Mueller. Present. Councilman Bob Blanchard. Here. Council Member Carol Doctor. Present. Councilwoman Hank Husking. Councilman Craig Johnson. Present. Council Member Tom Reardon. Present. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, you have a quorum. Thank you, Mrs. Adams. Tonight, the Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Councilman Blanchard, followed very shortly after by the invocation by uh, the Reverend Greg Adolph of St. Andrews of, of the Apostle Catholic Church. Please stand for the pledge. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, members of the City Council, ladies and gentlemen, before the invocation, I would like to draw your attention to the passing this past Tuesday of one of the pioneers of our community. Mrs. Oscar Lupi Irun passed away on Tuesday. She was 87 years of age. The Irons came to Sierra Vista in 1957 to open the modern pharmacy, a Rexall franchise at the corner of Fry Boulevard and North Avenue. Lupi and Oscar were true community builders, as we have acknowledged with the dedication of the Oscar Arun Center. Since Oscar's death in 1997, Lupi has lived quietly, enjoying her family, her many friends, and her hobbies. She will be laid to rest next to Oscar tomorrow at Cochise Memorial Garden, uh, Memory Gardens, following a noon mass at St. Andrews. Thank you. Let us pray. Our great and loving God, we thank you for the beautiful and strong net of relationships which binds us together as a community of families, individuals, neighborhoods, and citizens, the pioneers, and those most recently arrived among us. We thank you for the friendships which result from the tasks and projects we undertake together to build our community. We thank you for all those who have gone before us and those who will follow us here. Amid all the changes and chances of life, we thank you for the strong and flexible bonds of caring for and about one another, bonds which appear at their best in the most difficult times. Bless those who give civic leadership to our community, especially members of our city council and staff. Bless them with wisdom, insight, and courage. Bless them with the ability to strengthen that which is good and defend those who are most vulnerable. Bless them to be a blessing. Bless Sierra Vista to be a place of blessing for all who live and visit here. And we ask this with confidence as we ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Greg, for your kind words. And I know the uh, Irun family is in the, is in the hearts and prayers of everybody in the community. Additionally, if you are unaware, tomorrow also will be the funeral service for Mrs. Frieders. Carl Frieders was uh, mayor of Sierra Vista for some time. So those are two two folks that are we dearly missed in our community, and of course we we thank God for their gifts. Next item is the acceptance of the agenda. May I have a motion? Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. I move that the agenda for the regular city council meeting of October 9, 2008, be approved as written. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor? Mr. Reardon. Are you in favor? In favor. Unanimous. <laughs> we next move to awards and presentations. So give me a second to move up front. We have a number of proclamations tonight. And we'll start, if I can ask Miss Amy Metz to come forward, please. <clears throat> Whereas each year on October 16th, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations celebrates World Food Day in commemoration of its founding on that day in 1945 in Quebec City, Canada. And whereas in 1990, 
students at their high school uh, and their high school art teacher in Michigan created a way to raise funds to support local food drives by making ceramic bowls for a fundraising meal. And whereas the following year, the originators had developed this concept into empty bowls, a project to provide support for food banks, soup kitchens, and other organizations that fight hunger. And whereas since then, empty bowls events have been held in communities throughout the world, and millions of dollars have been raised to combat hunger, and whereas local potters make ceramic bowls for a fundraising meal, and will spearhead the first empty bowls project in the Sierra Vista area. Now, therefore, I, Robert B. Strain, Mayor of the City of Sierra Vista, do hereby pro proclaim Saturday, October 11th, as Empties bowl, Empty Bowls Project Day. Got it out. In Sierra Vista, and I urge the entire community to help fight hunger in our community by participating in the Empty Bowls Project and to remember those less fortunate by donating to our local food banks. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the great seal of the city of Sierra Vista to be affixed this the 25th day of September, the year of our Lord, 2008, and Independence of the United States of America, 232nd. Signed, Robert B. Strain, Mayor, City of Sierra Vista. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, you want to say something about your event? Yeah, um, this Saturday uh, from 11 to 2 at the uh, Etherbrooker Center, we're going to have an empty bowls project. It's a minimum of a $10 donation. You get a pottery bowl and soup made by some of the local uh, restaurants around town have contributed. Everyone that has participated has, has done uh, greatly. Um, the pottery studio is uh, at the Park and Leisure's uh, building with the Oscar Ewan Center. And uh, a lot of our potters are out here in the audience, and they all have bowls in their hands. <laughs> and uh, anyway, they're, they're made with love, and all the proceeds, uh, every 100% of the proceeds goes to the local food bank, the Salvation Army, the uh, St. Vincent to Paul, and the... Uh, uh, the place on uh, post uh, for the ministry there. Great. Thank you very much, Amy. I know that everybody will be at uh, Oscar Room uh, 11 to 2 on Saturday for, for a great meal and a great bowl. Each year, the League of City, Arizona Cities and Towns declares the week to for honoring the activities of municipal governments. Next week is, in fact, the, the uh, celebration. So Mayor, Mayor Strain has, in fact, proclaimed next week as Arizona City and Towns Week in the city of Sierra Vista. Uh, and I guess we'll present this to ourselves. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs>